Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Bring It Back. This being a show where I talk about TV shows that were canceled and or short-lived that I would like to see get brought back in some shape or form. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the CW series Naomi. Really quickly, what Naomi is about, Naomi follows the title character Naomi, and she's just a regular high school student until an incident happens in her hometown where Superman pops up, which in this universe, like, Superman's treated as, like, oh, he's just a comic book character. Like, he's not... A real thing so a lot of people treat this incident as like oh it must have been a stunt there's no way it was like real superman doesn't really exist but naomi um at the day of that incident had an interesting reaction that well, when she was in close proximity to superman she ended up passing out and upon waking up and over the next couple of days she starts noticing changes in herself very slowly but surely almost very much like Peter Parker getting bit by the radioactive spider starts noticing changes like her vision starts getting better she doesn't need glasses anymore and then eventually she starts noticing that she's starting to develop superpowers and I think the series does a really good interesting thing that ends up being this very slow a mystery unveiling of Naomi's circumstances because Naomi soon discovers that she's not just this isn't coming out of nowhere Naomi learns that the reason why she's developing these powers is because she's actually not from this world she actually finds out that there are other people in the town who are also aliens as well so like I said it is this mystery series of her trying to discover who and what she really is and the, the, the truth behind um, her circumstance. The show goes pretty hard in the paint, especially with the science fictional angle, because it doesn't just stop at like, oh, like there's aliens. It leans into like the multiverse of things too, you know, kind of spoilerish, but Naomi finds out she's not only not from this earth, she's from a different earth in the multiverse. So sadly, uh, the show was recently canceled, which the cancellation came pretty quickly. I feel like quicker than most things do. Uh, this came like what, I think it was like maybe Wednesday or Thursday when that came out and like the season finale just aired Tuesday so um I was bummed to hear that because I was really hoping for a season two um because I think this show does a very unique job of how it approaches uh, superheroism because it is very first and foremost kind of like like I said this science fictional mystery series of just you know slowly figuring out this mystery of who Naomi is and, you know, even trying to figure out who around her is telling her the truth and what is the truth. You know, um, just when she thinks she has everything figured out, like, more gets revealed to her. And it's like, oh, I don't know as much as I thought I did. Ends up being a bit crux of the, uh, what we got of the show, so... Um, at the time of me recording this, I had seen that there's still talks about whether or not... The show is being workshopped. They're seeing, like, whether they're uh, shopping it around to see if anyone else will pick it up. Um... I think it, it, this is like like in a long line of like cancellations at the CW. There's been some like announcements recently, but obviously with the this is on the back burners of like it's, it's been a little while, but obviously it's on the back burners of DC's Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman getting uh, canceled. So a lot of the DC stuff, well, not even just a lot of the DC stuff, a lot of the uh, CW content in general is kind of like it seems like a lot of stuff is getting the axe. So. Once again, it seems like this might be related to the whole thing of the CW getting sold off and maybe the Warner Brothers and uh, Discovery Media um, merger and such. So, whatever the case may be, whatever the circumstances are, I hope Naomi gets not only a second season, but kind of gets a full length run because I'm very interested because this is a character I know nothing about. Uh, from my understanding, she's a fairly new character in the, co in the continuity of the comics, so... Um, but I, I'm very excited. I want to learn more about this character, spend more time with this character, especially the way season one ended off and where her story would end up taking her next. Obviously, I had my ideas about like, oh, maybe this, this, or this, but uh, without spoiling it for anyone that hasn't seen Naomi, I won't go into specifics, but I really, you know, fingers crossed, hoping that it does get a new life. I figure if anywhere would be HBO Max, but it enters that same conversation I brought up about uh, DC's Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman whether or not Warner Brothers even wants to go down that route anymore like because obviously there's the DC stuff that's already on HBO Max like um, like Titans uh, Doom Patrol Peacemaker and I don't know if necessarily these are shows that they're interested in carrying over there once again I figured it would make the most sense considering like you know putting all your DC properties kind of under one location and under one umbrella but 
you know, we'll have to ultimately wait and see. Like I said, hopefully the show doesn't just get a second season. Hopefully the show gets a full chance in full life, but we'll see. But really, that's all I'm going to talk about. And the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.